So, you want to ship chocolate, but you want to make sure by the time it gets where it needs to be, it's not chocolate milk. Let's get into this. What's up guys, Hustle Millennial here. Thank you so much for joining me. We're gonna jump right into it. Let me go ahead and turn this other camera on here as well so you can see what we're doing from two separate angles. That way you get a good idea on it. Now, we had a customer order three of these bags of chocolate M&M sharing sizes. And of course, we don't want it to be one brick when it gets there. We wanna make sure that it gets there in the same form that it is right now or else we're gonna have a very unhappy customer. Now, just to give you guys a little bit of foreground to this, we do ship chocolate this way consistently, and no, we've never had any complaints from the customers when the product arrives. So that's why I've decided to make this video finally, because we actually have a way that works. And you know how much extra you have to spend? Two dollars. Well, here, two dollars and 12 cents after tax, but it is an extremely viable way. So what we're gonna do is we have an eight by eight by eight box right here, which we get uh, for free from eBay. Okay, put that guy right there. We also have this guy right here, which we get from the dollar store. It is a hot, cold thermal bag. We'll open this up here for you so you can see that it is lined. Okay, so it's a fairly thick insulated bag and we have this hot and cold pack, which when placed in here, will keep the We'll keep what's in it. I don't know the word I'm looking for right now, um, but it will contain the cold temperature uh, for about, I don't know, about 40 to 48 hours, which with two day priority shipping, it's perfect. So what we're gonna do first is we are going to take this box here and we're gonna bring the sides down just to make our life easier. We are gonna open up this hot cold thermal bag. Okay, I like to put my arm right down the middle of it and we are going to stuff it in to this box, right like so. That way we literally have a box that is lined with this uh, thermal material. Now the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take this hot and cold pack, which we try and set flat so they freeze into squares. We're gonna take it and we're gonna place it right in the bottom, which is also going to uniform this bag for you. Okay, so now you can see we have a hot and cold bag. We'll show it to this camera here. Okay, we have that right in the bottom of the box there. And then we are going to take our M&Ms and we are going to line them to where the majority of M&Ms are against the bottom here. So we can kind of tilt them so we get the maximum like surface and we're literally going to put them right against that freezer pack there. Okay, As you can see right here, we have all the M&Ms in the freezer pack. Now what we're gonna do is we are going to clip this shut. These bags here have little clip points where they will close. Do do. Clip these all shut. And again, guys, if this is helpful for you, uh, and if you haven't already, make sure to hit that subscribe button. And if you have hit that subscribe button, then let me see here. Aha! They clip together. It's difficult sometimes to get them to clip, but once they do, man. If you haven't subscribed already, hit that subscribe button. If you have subscribed already, hit that thumbs up button right down there to show your support. Now, you can see we have the hot and cold thermal bag all in the box there. It is all clipped together with the ice pack at the bottom. So you have the ice pack on the bottom and then you have the M&Ms layered against it. All we're gonna do now is we're gonna fold this guy in and down like so. And easy as that. We're gonna close this and give it a little bit of tape here. There you go, guys. We have chocolate ready to go from Idaho to, I believe, New Mexico. I believe, Idaho to, to New Mexico. Now, we have shipped all the way to Florida this way, two day priority, uh, and it's perfectly fine. You'll even notice if you hang on to the box right after, the entire box starts to get cold, even the spots where there's nothing touching it. Now, of course, a couple things to note, we did leave the freezer pack in the freezer um, overnight, so it would be completely frozen solid. If you just stick it in there for an hour or two, it's still kind of jelly and slushy, it may not work as well for you, or it may not work at all. 
So make sure you do leave the freezer pack in there overnight. Now, if you're shipping on Amazon, generally, even with our uh, 48 hour shipping window, we still have you know the chance to freeze something overnight. Um, so that would be something, even if you do have a two day shipping requirement from Amazon, uh, you can definitely still get the product out in a reasonable time while still freezing that overnight. Now we of course have a stockpile of them in the freezer so we can pull them out whenever we need to. But just wanted to make this video. I hope it helps someone out there. Nobody wants to get candy in a solid goopy chocolate brick. So decided to do this for you. Let me know how you liked it. Let me know if it was informative. Leave me a comment below. What is the hardest thing you've ever had to ship? For us, figuring out how to ship chocolate was actually one of the more challenging things, but once we did, it's now super easy. We still make uh, a little over $20 profit every time we ship one of these out, even spending the extra $2.12 on top for the additional shipping material. So as always guys, keep learning, keep expanding, keep growing. A tree starts out as a sprout but it constantly grows and evolves and changes 24 seven. It doesn't take a break and eventually it becomes that redwood or that oak or that maple, that beautiful final finished product. And that's literally what you guys are. Do you guys know that we share the same molecules as everything else in the universe? The same cells, the same everything? If trees out there are gonna grow 24 seven and they're gonna go from something a couple inches small to something a hundred feet tall, so can you. Maybe just in a different way. But get out there guys, keep growing, keep expanding, keep learning. As long as you're learning, you're not gonna be losing. So get out there and hustle harder, my family.